I'm hungry. Well, you gotta get up pretty early in the morning to catch a fish. You know the old saying, early bird gets the worm. But we're not birds, and um, Dad, we ain't got any worms. Sorry I forgot them on the kitchen table. How are we gonna catch any fish now? Well, son, it seems like you had a little too much sleep in your eyes. We should have one of Aunt V's breakfasts. Mm -hmm. Then our brains would have been a little more awake. As it is, we're gonna have to get our hands dirty and dig up some worms. You do no such thing. You boys need your breakfast. You should have woken me up earlier. It's just a good thing I heard the door slamming as you left. Now, let's get you boys fed. Oh, yay, Aunt Fee, you got the worms. Now we can catch some fish. But first, you must eat your breakfast, Toby. Now, I've cooked these eggs in that yummy oil that you brought me, Randy. In fact, I put three tablespoons in each of these berry smoothies. Where was it you got that from, Randy? Wasn't it up north somewhere in the, the Philly Pines? Ah, uh, no, Auntie. It wasn't up north. It came from clear across the ocean, from the Philippines. That's a country far, far away. Well, however did you get that lovely oil all the way over here? Well, Aunt Fee, it's all thanks to the people at the Wilderness Family Naturals. Ooh. Those nice people, the fishers went all the way to the Philippines and saw just where this oil comes from. Ken Fisher was escorted all over where the coconuts grow, and he's seen firsthand how they get it done. In the Philippines, the folks there pick the coconuts and take out the meat and they press out all the liquid. This coconut milk emulsion is then put into a large centrifuge and it spins with a centrifuge force that separates the oil from the water. After that, they put the oil in a vacuum chamber and remove any water that might be left. Then the oil gets put into big barrels. The barrels are placed on a ship that crosses the ocean and lands at a large port in the United States of America, where they are picked up and put on large trucks, where they travel another thousand miles or so until they reach Wilderness Family Naturals. From there, the warehouse boys get them off the truck and put them into a very warm room. This room is like the tropics, which keeps the oil warm enough so they can pour it into containers, because if it cools down lower than 76 degrees, it starts to solidify, you know, get hard. So when it's time to put it in jars and buckets, the oil gets brought into a well-sanitized production room. They have clean buckets ready and raring to go, labeled, and each one was given a lot number so they can track each and every bucket or jar if need be. The barrel gets sanitized on the top before opening, and then they put the pump inside the oil, which has also been... Sanitized! Why, yes, you get the picture now. Well, once they get that pump going, they all move like a big old machine. They get that lid on real tight with a litter. Finally, they just plop that bucket on the top of stacks of themselves and they wheel that right into storage until they are ordered. And believe me, that's about a minute. You would think that oil had wings the way it flies off the shelf. People cook with it, bake with it, fry with it. Why, some people eat it right out of the jar, it's so good. And that, Aunt V, is how we get this lovely centrifuge coconut oil. I like eating it right out of the jar to get my fill. Most of the time I carry a little bottle just for that reason. It's uh, but uh, I can't eat it. Aunt Fee, what are you doing? <coughs> eating this lovely oil. I know why people eat it out of the jar. It's delicious. It's so creamy and smooth. Toby, you must try this. Randy, try some! No thanks, Aunt V. I, I, I like eating it right out of the jar. That's why I buy some. Uh, in fact, 
that jar now is officially yours. Oh, Toby, you must try some. No, no oh. thanks, Aunt Lee. I, I prefer a spoon. Oh, no. here. No, not after you. No, no. Ah! 